I want to see if Hannah can hit this bump, <laughs> this little guy. Hey, Hannah, I want to show you this. You got to hit it perfectly in the middle. We want to see if you can do it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> look at it compared it to the ball. Hold oh it up to it. Yeah, look. <laughs> All right, let's All see. All right. All right, guys, welcome back to another awesome course vlog. Today we are at Pinchbrook Golf Course in Florham Park, New Jersey. What a quirky course. Par 65. It's 4,900 yards from the tees we're playing, the back tees. And we have a special guest with you, pro golfer Hannah Liner. We're going to introduce you to Hannah in a second. We've got a beautiful day. Let's go tee off, guys. Let's get out there. All right, guys, nine par threes on this course, starting with the first. Okay. No. All right, guys, meet Hannah. Hello. Hannah, thanks for joining us. Hannah's up of here course. in New Jersey. She is a professional golfer. And I want to know, where, where did your golfing start for you? So I started playing golf when I was five years old. My dad actually introduced me to the game. And at first, I honestly didn't really like it. I was a dancer. I danced competitively. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't really think it was a cool or fun sport. But <laughs> when I was 12, I started competing and winning. I liked the feeling of winning. Oh, sure. So it took off from there and I fell in love with it. That's cool. And now you went to college to FIU. Last month I graduated. That's and cool. Congrats. Yeah. And now I turned pro. So I've been working on that, just practicing, grinding. Sweet. So, yeah. And I want to find out more about the pro grind and what's lined up for you. So I'm sure there's a lot coming up for you. So we're both in the bunker up here. Let's go hit our shots. Okay. Come on. Oh. Like Mike said, a little bit of a quirkiness to a par 65. I mean, we've played executive courses that, you know, in that par 63 range with a one or two of a par four maybe worked in. But here we've got a par five, and I think there are two par fives out here, so this is our first. No. So definitely a quirky little par five here. Not long on the card, but really tight fairway, and it works its way left, so I got blocked out. All I can really do is get a seven iron, hopefully get it out there, back to the fairway, and give myself a wedge in. Go through. All right, so Hannah, you're just off the right here on this par five. So is this 270? Is this a, this is go for it for you here? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try it out. <laughs> All right. There we go. Such a nice controlled swing. Run up there. It's going. Great shot. Oh, great pot. Great pot. All right, Frank, slippery little birdie here. Down the hill. Down the hill. Let's see if he gets it. Drop. Drop. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dude, nice pot. That's where it, those Pinehurst greens paid off. Right? Good job, That's man. Fast stuff. All right, Mike, decision making time. So that creek that runs through the middle of the fairway here, mm -hmm. I got 240 to it, 260 to carry it. It is a short hole, only 369. So. You can go anything short of it and probably only have 100 yards in, or you can try to... No, I think we're going to play the smart play on this, because, yeah, you're going to have the perfect drive to carry that. Right, and it's not going to give you too much. Right. All right. Other than a shorter wedge. The very rare Mike layup. <laughs> Perfectly played uh, little layup there. I know it goes against your nature, Mike. Yeah, but sometimes I know that, it feels that, good. Yeah. It feels good to hit a good shot. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, fairway. Got a little chunky there. Yeah, but, but it's a safe way. Short hole. Safe little flag. You really committed to the layout. I really did, man. I got 200 left. <laughs> That's not my game. No. I like to have like 30 left. You know, I like to go as far as I can to the green, so I have very little left. All right, 200 shot. Let's see what happens. Usage percentage on this club zero. <laughs> well, you should use it more. Use it a little more. Get oh, hit the fringe a little off to the right. Great shot. That's gonna run right nicely to the hole. Go in, go in. Good shot, dude. All right, Hannah for par. Let's see if she can bury this. 
Oh! It'll be the lone par here. Good par. Thanks. Yeah, dude. Get through. Oh. I just saved my life that trade. All right, you had the best drive, but Hannah stuck it pretty close. Yeah, she is. All right, so let's see it. Oh, stop. All right, the old long putt. Yep. All right, so Hannah, we caught a nice day, but I wonder, are you missing that Florida weather or what? Uh, not right no, now. No, right? <laughs> not on days like today. Exactly, it's probably like 95 degrees back home, so. Yeah. This is feeling nice. Well, what what brings you here? I know you you know went to school in Florida and things like that, but now you're up this way. Right. What my, brings you up here? My boyfriend actually plays for the Jets, James Morgan. He is the backup quarterback. So he got drafted last year, and we're up here half of the year. So very cool. The training camp is right here, right? Yeah. Not too far. Yeah, the facility. It's probably like two minutes away. So have you gotten to play much golf since you've been up here? Like, is there any courses um, that have I you actually, enjoyed that surprised you anything like that I haven't gotten the chance to play a lot up here um, but I'm really looking forward to playing like Liberty Nash yeah. courses like that I definitely want to see the skyline of New York City when I'm playing that'd be cool well the nice news is that we've got a lot of great courses we just have a shorter season than what you're used to right so you got to pack it all in. I know start playing those courses <laughs> exactly. now ball waved as it went by the hall <laughs> Great hey guys, we'll get back to the round in just a second, but I want to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skillshare helps you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. In fact, we use techniques we learn in Skillshare classes to make these videos better every day. Some of our favorite Skillshare classes include Cinematography Basics with Zach Mulligan, Storytelling Through Film with Thomas Dejer, and Dan Mace's killer class on how to tell better stories through video. And there's so much more to discover on Skillshare too. From cooking classes to organization, Skillshare really does have something for everyone. The best part is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. Plus, when you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes, which lets you experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. Oh, and get this, the first 100 of our subscribers who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of their premium subscription so you can explore your creativity. So get in there and check out Skillshare so you can learn something new and have fun doing it. All right, let's get back to the video. He gave that everything. You gave it everything. Yeah. All right, Hannah, talk to me about the PXG clubs. What's so the relationship these are like the that? Gen 3 irons and um, wedges and everything. But I just signed with them back in March and they've been a great partnership. I love their mission and the values they have as a company and organization. So I love being part of um, PXG. That's cool. And you said you're hitting that thing pretty far that time. Yeah, I gained 15 <laughs> yards. There you go. So. It's a pretty sweet bag too. Let's take a look at that. That's sweet. Yep, had to include the handle on there. Yeah, you, know you got it. it. There's the handle, guys. Go give it a follow. All right, go get this up and down. Go. You mark that, Hannah? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's working nice. Just short there. You too. Come on. That looks good. You gotta go, ball. That's it. All right. Pin high, gotta go, he says. <laughs> Pin high. So, Hannah, we talked about earlier, you've been playing the game for a long time. Uh, I'm sure it's brought to you to some many special places. Is there anything that stood out for you? So I had a very fortunate junior career and one of my favorite tournaments I played in was actually the US Amateur. 
So I qualified for that at 16 years old and it was against a bunch of college athletes too. So I was very intimidated, but I got in and it was such a professionally ran tournament that I just loved it. And I, because I played in that, I got to play in the North and South Amateur down in Pinehurst, which was also something very memorable to me so it's amazing it's the places that the game will take you you know right and in the people you meet too exactly you know I've made a lot of I mean us we've made the connection just through Instagram I'm sure you've done a lot of the same mm -hmm. you know? long-lasting friendships yeah. too, so. very cool yes. doing Oh, by the way, guys, remember, we are giving away a TSI Titleist driver to one lucky YouTube subscriber every month. In fact, here was our winner last month. There he is. Hey, are you, are you Aaron? Yeah. Hey, it's Mike and Frank from Golficity. Well, we, we're calling you to tell you that you are our first Titleist driver winner. Sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you for being a subscriber. We really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we'll get your information and we'll send you your club. Sounds good, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Cheers, man. Have a great day, guys. So you gotta be in it to win it. Make sure you subscribe. Good luck. Going! Oh! Good shot, man. Oh, works. Yeah. So, Hannah, is it true that you were once a member at the club where they shot Caddyshack? Yes. So the club was called Grand Oaks, or is Grand Oaks, and a lot of like famous people, like President um, Obama, he played there. Uh, Charles Barkley. Yeah, yeah. Went out there. I remember seeing that swing. So <laughs> <laughs> that's when you, you don't, for, well, you you don't exactly. forget that. You can't get that out of your head. Uh, but yeah, like Shaq was out there. Scotty Pippen was out there. I got to meet him. He was really nice. But yeah. That and the clubhouse, really... everything looks the same as the movie. Uh, no. So they redid it um, a couple times. I think the course looks nothing like the movie, got but it. they do have that tree. They still have it. Yeah. yeah. That is, I bet everybody's got the groundhog head cover there. Yeah. Too, right. You got her. It's like a staple. That's right. Cool. That was like my first head cover too. Yeah. Like when I was growing up. That's appropriate. Yeah. You remember there? You got it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. See that sand splash? Good shot. OB up there. Good touch. There right, you go. All right, Frank, a little bit of a lip in front of you. Yeah, not much to work <laughs> with here. Watch huh? out. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Ooh, gave it a look. Oh yeah. All right. Get in. Oh, oh. Like put the brakes on. It's just like. <laughs> it's mean. I want to see if Hannah can hit this club. <laughs> this little guy. Hey, Hannah, I want to show you this. This is a uh, training aid. You got to hit it perfectly in the middle. We want to see if you can do it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> look at it compared it to the ball. Hold it oh up there. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's as big yeah. as the golf ball. Tempo is key here. All right, let's All see. Right. Oh my God, looking at it from <laughs> down here. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's not bad for that club. That's painful. <laughs> it's like vibrating. Right? That's weird. Shot. After that, your clubs feel so forgiving right? after hitting that. <laughs> Safe part of the green. I'll tell you one thing, on the back nine here, we're getting a lot of tricky greens. Yeah, they Some are tricky. Undulations here, so a couple different spots you could put the pin, it gets really difficult. Yeah, look at this one. Probably video doesn't do it justice, but this thing's gonna bend a whole bunch of different a ways. A whole bunch. All right, this is a hope and pray type thing. Kind of. This is a Hail Mary. Okay. I'll give you 10 bucks if you get it within five feet.
Not bad. It's almost. <laughs> All right, guys, another par four here. Wait, hold on to see 16, because 16 is a pretty par three over the water. Got a peek at it on that last tee box, so I'm looking forward to playing it. But again, right in that zone, another par four. 364 yards, they're all right in that range. Just requires, they're just, just obviously out of reach for the driver, but just requires a good tee shot and wedge to get your green regulation here. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about here. A good drive, this is probably my best drive of the day, sets you up for a nice wedge into these greens, but the greens here on the back nine have been tricky. So I've got about an 85 yard shot here, but you gotta put it close if you want that birdie chance. And that is not what it looks like to put it close. <laughs> All right, guys, 16th hole, 157 yard par three, aesthetically pleasing over this water. Sand all around this green looks tricky, and the wind is starting to pick up pretty nicely here. You can probably feel it, but uh, let's see if we can be precise and stick this. All right, and a shot. Uh, tough catch. Bit intimidating tee shot. It is, a little bit. Bunkers left and right, water short. God knows what long. <laughs> Yeah, Frank. Yeah. All right, he's up there. Shot. One time, bird. I really thought that, that would take more down. All right, guys, I gotta tell you the truth. I'm impressed with Pinchbrook. Like I said before, this used to be a private facility. It's now public, so you can get out here and play it. Um, but, you know, you've got those par fours mixed in. Uh, two par fives, I believe it was. And then a couple of these challenging par threes with some pretty looks and some challenging greens. So it's a fun track. It's something a little bit different. Like I said, Robert Trent Jones uh, design. Um, it is a place that you're going to want to give a look to. Pretty cool. Oh, I wanted, I wanted that up and down from the bunker. <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> I'm angry you for missing that. That was that. that was uh. All right, good par. No, good bogey. All right, Hannah, before we take on 18 here, tell us, just tell our audience, you know, what's next for you? So you will see a lot of traveling from me. I'll be down in Florida this summer playing in the NWGA events and along with playing some in Jersey. Good luck. Thank good luck you. Good luck, knock them dead out there. Yep, thank you so much. So guys, we always like doing these collabs. We get to meet and, and play golf with some new people, get to know some new people. So I've had a lot of fun out here playing with Hannah today. If there's anybody else you'd like to see on the channel, people you'd like to see us collaborate with, uh, post in the comments, let us know. Because um, it's like I said, it's one of our favorite things about being out here and doing this is getting the chance to play with some other people. But like I said, Pinchbrook has just been, it's been a treat today. It's been fun. It's been challenging in some unique ways that we're, we don't normally get to see with some of these different yardages and some of these quick greens. But it's been a fun one so far. And oh, by the way, like I said earlier, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we are giving away a Titleist TSI driver to one lucky subscriber every single month. Next month could be you. Don't get in there. Oh. Yes. I wanted to end That's it. Good round. That was a lot of fun. It was so great guys. playing with you. So yes, it was, it was so awesome. Fun. I guess one of the other benefits of playing a par 65 is that you get to shoot your career low. <laughs> Shot 77 today. I'm happy with that. Like I said, it was tricky. There was a, a couple of double bogeys. I wish I could get back, but happy with the putting, happy with what we played. And like I said, couldn't be happier to get a chance to get out here and play with Hannah. She's really cool. Make sure you check her out. We'll put the links to her YouTube channel and her Instagram down below. Um, don't miss it. Like I said, Hannah is a lot of big things ahead, I'm sure, for her. And it was just a really fun time out here today. See you guys soon.